cried. I went crazy. I freaked out last night. I mean, we just buried her yesterday. Lisette Sturp and her sister buried their beloved mom, a former resident at Cranford Rehab. They got one compassionate care visit with the 96-year-old at the end of February, but requests for additional visits got denied as unnecessary. That's expected to soon change under new federal visitation guidelines unveiled late yesterday, but it comes too late for Lydia Amato, who died Saturday before her family could say goodbye. And the pain that I have in my heart that my mom died thinking, I don't know what she was thinking, but she may have thought that I didn't want to when I was there. I went on my front porch and I just screamed, saying, why, why now? Now we can't do it. It's the biggest pain in our heart. I hope nobody ever has to go through this. Cranford Rehab's director offered sympathy, noting we, of course, wish we could allow our families more visits to their loved ones during these trying times, but that the state currently restricts routine visitations and permits compassionate care visits only under very limited circumstances. That's why advocate Bill Borelli hopes Jersey quickly adopts the revised visitation guidelines. She tried everything to see her mother, everything. And the, and the fact that as we're hopefully nearing the end of this, her mother has passed, it's heartbreaking. Currently in New Jersey, a COVID outbreak can shut down visits at a long-term care facility for weeks. The new guidelines state visits can continue in unaffected wings if tests show the outbreak is confined to just one area. And they say compassionate care visits should be allowed at all times for any residents, vaccinated or not, regardless of outbreaks. This is essential because too much discretion, in my opinion, has been given to the care facilities to determine how many visits, who gets to visit, who is who qualifies as an essential caregiver or as a compassionate caregiver. This basically says every resident has the right to have a visitor. The federal government cited rising vaccination rates as the reason for relaxing visitation rules, and New Jersey reports 72 percent of its long-term care residents have been immunized, but only about half the staff. Even before the feds released the revisions, Governor Murphy yesterday said long-term care facilities need to prioritize visits. We get that you want to be and need to be cautious. However, all long-term care facilities must take visitation allowances as seriously as they are taking virus control. No one should be prevented from visiting a loved one without a reasonable cause for health and safety. The revisions make other sweeping changes. They encourage nursing homes to permit indoor visits at all times and for all residents, regardless of whether people have been vaccinated. The few exceptions include when the residents got a COVID infection. Also, if they're not fully immunized and live in a facility where fewer than 70% of residents have gotten vaccinated and where the surrounding community shows high COVID infection rates, more than 10% of tests. Borelli wants clarity because there's so much inconsistency in implementation by the facilities. If they write it with clear language, then the families can serve as enforcers because it's sort of indisputable. An industry spokesman reacted. Right now, you know, we welcome um, everybody taking a look at opening up visitation. And we think as part of a reopening guidance and part of more people coming into the facilities, we would like to make sure that comes with a vaccination program. The state's reviewing the federal revisions. Lydia Amato's family will push for change. And I'm not going to give up. I want to help somebody else. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.